Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com and here I am with my iPhone 4. Last night I was live helping some people out with their iPhone 3GS's. They were looking to speed it up and also increase battery life. So in this video, I know the title's a bit exaggerating, turbocharging your iPhone, um, but it kind of does. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. Now I've got folder enhancer thanks to a YouTuber, but you know, it's, it's fairly fast, it's responsive, it's smooth, but to me, Doing this is ridiculously slow. If I go into things, yeah, I'm going to settings, but look how, for me, this is ridiculously slow. So, the first thing to save battery life is to go into Sprint Optimize. Now, I did talk about this in a previous video, um, but I really get to show you the difference in this one. So, capabilities, and then turn multitasking to off. If you know about multitasking, uh, what you can do is download something called Backgrounder from Jailbreak Me, and that will allow you to do true multitasking, but with this, um, for example, on the normal multitasking, if your app crashes, you have to go into the slider, find it, and turn it off. But with multitasking off, the app essentially quits. So you're, you're left with much more memory on your phone, and it feels much more responsive. So that is the multitasking turning off. But the second thing I think is most important, and this is ridiculous really, it's the animations which is slowing your phone down. So you see we have custom duration here. Now I've actually had to put this slider a little bit further across because it was actually too quick. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and set that to on. Now you, you'll see as I press back, how quick that was to just do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and respring it to turn multitasking off as well, because that does give you a little bit of a speed boost. Now the multitasking uh, will give you a battery life boost as well, because your apps aren't running in the background. And I know some of you say, oh, they're not technically running in the background, but um, with the SP settings, you can see the amount of free RAM here. Uh, there's a much more free RAM available, and it does give yourself a speed boost. So now everything is set. See how quickly I can do this, switching between them how quickly I can just switch between these folders. And also, if I was to uh, go to Safari, because now the apps launch much quicker as well, you can see straight away, boom. You can see that the uh, little Wi-Fi thing, that has sped up as well. It's pretty much sped everything up. If I was to uh, hold the icon, you can see how quickly these jitter now. So yeah, this is pretty much a, a, a complete speed increase and you'll see the difference when you're moving through your apps. Now obviously because you have multitasking on, it won't, um, not all apps will go to the place where you were before, but if you know about push notifications, usually they'll quit you out of the app and then, you know, you have issues anyway. So um, most of the apps are designed to bring you back to where you are though, but uh, just as a warning that some don't. But this is a much better speed increase if I go into the, uh, the settings again and switch through the menus, you can see how much quicker this is as I switch through them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn it off again so you can see how, how much slower it is again just so you can see the difference. So I'm going to go back to Spring Optimize and I'm just going to turn the animations off, custom duration off and then there we go. See the difference there? It's like we've gone into slow-mo. Can you believe this? It's all because of these animations. Look at that. How slow is this? Think how, how many uh, milliseconds you're losing getting things done when you could just simply choose that custom duration and then have it speed up completely. So that is pretty much it. This is the uh, custom animation feature inside of uh, Spring Optimize. Now Spring Optimize is a pay for software, but um, if you guys know of any free ways to do this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, you can see a difference and it will definitely improve your experience. Every person I've told how to do this, which includes friends and family, have said, wow, there is a much bigger difference in my phone. So that's essentially turbocharging your iPhone and saving battery life as well. So thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos. And thanks again.